video, we'll be going over IRS notice CP07. Uh, basically, this is a notice from the IRS that you might receive if they're holding your tax refund uh, for further review. So uh, this is pretty straightforward. We're going to go ahead and start at the upper right hand side of the form where we'll go through that information. Uh, so the notice number CP07. The tax year, in this case, it's 2018 tax year with a notice date of February 2nd of 2019. Uh, the Social Security number, and then if, if you needed to contact the IRS, you would see the phone number right there. This is what, page one of two. So on the left-hand side, as usual, you'll see the taxpayer name and address field. Uh, so this is a good opportunity to take a, a, a break uh, from this notice and just kind of walk through um, why it's important uh, to keep your address up to date with the IRS. So uh, most of the time when taxpayers receive a notice, they're not expecting it. Uh, so the IRS will send a notice to their address of record. If you filed your most recent tax return after you moved, then it should go to your new address because your tax return will update the IRS records for, for your address. However, if you moved after filing your tax return, then you might uh, have your notice sent to the wrong address. So, uh, and in a notice that, uh, such as CP07, you can see right here that you don't need to take any further action. But there are notices that go to taxpayers that require certain action either by a due date or within a certain time period, like 30 days after the notice date. So pay particular attention to the notice date, but then also understand that if your notice goes to the wrong address, uh, two things can happen. One, your social security number ends up getting sent to uh, people that probably don't need to be handling your social security number. Uh, but then two, uh, you might not receive your notice in time to take the required or expected action. So I always recommend the taxpayers uh, complete uh, uh, their change of address. They can either do that by filing their tax return, by calling the IRS and validating their taxpayer information, or by filing the change of address form, IRS form 8822. So we'll put a link in the show notes to the uh, article and the video that we created walking through uh, IRS, uh, IRS form 8822. Uh, so let's take a look at what needs to happen. Uh, basically, this says that in this case, the IRS is holding on to your tax return. Uh, you're currently expecting a refund that they're holding on to until they go through a review process. It doesn't really give much detail about that, uh, but it does say that your return was selected because you claimed certain benefits on a, under a tax treaty or you claimed a significant amount of itemized deductions on Schedule A. So uh, there might be future correspondence with additional information you know, and instructions. You can expect that within the next six to 12 weeks. So. Uh, according to this letter, the IRS will do one of two things. They'll either send your refund uh, within that time frame, 6 to 12 weeks, as long as you don't owe any other debts that the IRS is required to collect. Or they'll send you a notice with additional information and instructions within that same time frame. So uh, you can see more information about that notice. We'll go to that website in just a moment. Uh, there's information about the taxpayer advocate service as well as the low low income taxpayer uh, clinics let's go ahead and click on this link and see what additional information you can get about your cpo7 notice so uh, basically it's just more of similar details so the irs selects cases that claim tax treaty benefits and or claim deductions on schedule a it's a simple review. As long as everything matches up, then you should get your refund as expected. If not, you should get follow-on correspondence that gives you additional guidance and direction. So uh, that's all we have 
for this video. Uh, we'll put links in the show notes to some of the tax forms that might pertain to uh, this this uh, notice. Uh, so uh, if you like our articles, please subscribe to our newsletter. And if you like our YouTube videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments, or if there's another topic that you'd like to see in an upcoming video, please hit me up in the comments section. Thank you very much and have a great day.